Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Darcy and we're in my kitchen today. I didn't mean to leave that out. <laughs> oh my goodness, how? Um, um, oh, I didn't plug in my microphone, so I have to probably make sure I talk right now on my phone. How is everybody today? It is finally, the day has come. Now technically, you should level everything. I'm really hoping that the guy who put on my counters leveled my counters because that's the only level place that will be in this 54-year-old house. Um, no matter what table, floor, no, nothing else is plumb in my entire house. So we're just really hoping that the guy that put on my counters leveled them. Now I'm using a pan because I figure why can't I heat it up on the stove instead of the microwave? Because that's one of the things you do. Also, I tried figuring out the volume of this plus like a little bowl and I would have come up short. So I would say the best way is to put the water up to the depth you want in whatever containers you want to use and then figure out how many cups that is. And if you have to round up a little bit, that's fine. That's what I did. I rounded up. So to fill these three containers, Will be oh i need to dry that out so there's a little bit of water in it and i'm guessing oh where'd my towel go i was going to use a paper towel but that'd be kind of dumb i just i just i just had a towel like i think i dread what okay oh my goodness let me get a kitchen towel because if i use a paper towel it could end up with little you know lint so yeah, I'm just concerned if there's like some water in here after the mixture goes in that I'll end up with little divots. So I just want to make sure that's completely dry. And this, that's, that's the only problem. Like you want to measure your water, make sure you get, you know, measure what liquid you're going to need. And then you have to dry everything out. Now this was the flattest bottom I had of all my containers, as was this one because this one has a little bit of a ridge in it and so do most of my other ones so that's how i decided my shapes um and believe me if my dunkin donuts cover was thick enough and flat enough or even if it wasn't flat if it was because it's oval that's the only oval shape i have and I wouldn't even mind that little divot in there, but it's just too shallow. I'm looking at my growth thing. I'm like, hmm, that might not be too shallow. Okay, let's put the towel where it belongs. <sighs> Drinking coffee. Okay, so so my measurements, well, when I filled all these to um, about a centimeter or three eighths of an inch, couple of them were a tiny bit over but I'd rather have too much than too little so that was five and a quarter which would be two and a half cups of water it was like five and a quarter and a bit so to be on the safe side I'm doing five and a half cups of liquid so I just round up so I'm doing two and three quarters of cups of water two and three quarters cup of glycerin which is which is over on the other side of the sink so that I don't accidentally pour the wrong thing in. But I also want it to be quick. I want to be able to get it in there quick so it's all measured. Alright. And then it's the recipe I found, which is not Lindsay's recipe. It's another recipe I found. Okay, that's too big. Was for two tablespoons. No, sorry. Ignore me. Three tablespoons of gelatin for every two cups of liquid doing a one-to-one -one ratio of uh, water and glycerin. Does that make sense? So like one cup of water, one cup of glycerin, three tablespoons of gelatin would be your base. Um, it's all about that base. Uh, would be your, your base recipe. And then, so I have five... <laughs> And a half five and yeah I have five and a half so that's going to be two four six seven and a half 
eight. Oh my goodness, I can't. I, I think I'm just gonna put. Uh, I, you have my phone. Hold on, let me go find my calculator. I should have figured that math out earlier. No, nope, I can do this. Six cups would be six times three, which is 18. And I'm half a cup lower than that, so I re reduce it by one and a half tablespoons. So that's 16 and a half tablespoons. Gosh, I hope I did my math right. <laughs> So, 16 and a half tablespoons. My two tablespoons is too big to fit into this container. Um, how much is 16 and a half tablespoons for? Oh goodness. I've got my half tablespoon over there. I think I always use my, either that or people aren't putting them where they belong. They found, uh, people are not putting, that's not a tablespoon anyway. Tablespoon. Found a tablespoon. Also, um, where's my blue? Oh, people don't put stuff away in the right place. This will work. All right, silicone spatula can go in the heat. That will work. So nine, me eighteen. So it's sixteen and a half. Sixteen and a half. I can do this. I can do this. Can I fit this? Why? 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 Just too small. The half will fit, but so that's a half. That's one. One and a half. Two. Two and a half. Oh, well, sixteen and a half. Except for I need the single tablespoon now. I was doing double tablespoons. Oh, my goodness. All right, I was at 15 and a half, so 16 and a half. Almost went over. Yeah, I know. Real, My son, my 20-year-old Nathan, he would have weighed it. That, that's not how I roll. Okay. Now, I'm going to add my water. I'm adding cool water. Some are spicy cool water, some say hot. But I'm going to heat it up, and it's going to... You can heat it up to plasticize it, supposedly. I don't know. So, as you can see, it gets... I just want to make sure... It's nice about this little... It's got the uh, measurement for um, a serving of... I want that all to get... Uh, that didn't... All right, let's put our gelatin in, which is a little bit more... What do you call it? Is it... Anyway, it's thicker. <laughs> get it all in there. Now, if you only use water... And you don't use the glycerin you're gonna get a moldy plate also it said to stir gently so you wouldn't end up with a lot of bubbles so as I heat this up I will also stir gently um, I think right now I just need to get it all liquefied before I even get that I think somebody used a whisk but then that's then you get more bubbles so and i'm hoping this will liquefy a little bit more once i start heating it i'm not bringing you over to my messy stove i'm sorry we'll pause and then once i get it heated up enough which i don't know what enough is do you know what enough is i was gonna check the boiling point i still will probably i'll check the i don't know what the boiling point is and make sure i you know stay below that temperature so i do have a thermometer all right, I could see why somebody wanted to do a whisk, but I have my silicone spoon that I can just keep stirring this. But then she also had a lot of bubbles. So I don't, oh my goodness. Six times three is 18, yeah. I'm like, did I put too much gelatin in there? Or maybe if I had used warm, I don't know. It's it's supposed to thicken up like that right away. So yeah, I'm going to pause you guys. And then go look on my other phone what the boiling point is. So I don't get, because you don't want to boil it. But you do want to heat it. So I'm going to probably heat it on low, medium low. And not let it to get, I guess once it starts steaming, I'm hoping it's done. So I actually just might go by that. That visual of, you know, a bunch of steams coming up, but no bubbles. I don't know. I'll look at it. We'll see. We'll f I'll figure it out and hope for the best. It's still lumpy. I don't think it's supposed to be lumpy. All right. I got it on the stove right now. 
and I am, <clears throat> I had to turn up the heat a little bit or I was going to be here all day. So, the inside of this is about five and three quarters across. And this one, about three and a half inches across. And this is probably why I didn't have the volume right, is because I didn't actually measure this. Ooh, it's my head again. No, I did 10 inches. This is a bigger than normal 12. I'm going to hold my finger right there and hope for the best. Ah, that's partly why I would have been under, because I thought this was 14 inches long. It's 15 inches long. So I will have a 10 by 15 plate, but it'll have rounded corners. So I'll be able to do a legal size piece of paper on there, which is nice, because what I figure is that hold on let me let me throw this real quick make sure i keep a good eye on it because i could get distracted really easily <sighs> what was i hoping oh so if i use a legal size piece of paper but still want to use it in a nine by six journal uh i can cut off a piece and have extra pieces to use for like collage and stuff here you want something to look at hello how are you today it's pretty cold out but not cold enough for snow i'm sorry I'm those are my snowmen, because it's still technically winter. All right, let me go back to the stove. And the reason that I'm not worried about using dishes that I use for food is because the glycerin I'm using is a food grade, let me say, yeah, it's food grade, sorry, food grade, and water, and the gelatin, if you're not a vegetarian, which we're not, is, um, is also, you know, it's for, it wouldn't have nutritional value if you couldn't eat it. It's been sitting in my, it's been sitting over there since I did, I did Trim Healthy Mama a while back, and they were like, get the collagen, and the, whatever the green thing is, the, yeah, the collagen and the gelatin, they're supposed to help, and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, nothing against Trim Healthy Mama, but I bought a bunch of stuff that ended up going bad. That's all I'm saying. I wasted some money. Anyway, back to the stove. Just quick update on the stove. The lumpy pumpies are pretty much gone now. So the heat has definitely helped to loosen them up. And uh, so there's that. But, and the reason I had to turn it up to medium, because after a few minutes, I touched the pan and it was barely warm. So I was like, oh, so right, right now I'm at medium, and if I keep watching it closely, because, you know, watch pot never boils. So if I watch it, it won't boil, right? That's not how it works? Okay. Back to the stove. Okay. Um, mine actually I brought up to about 150 degrees, just because that's when I was tired of watching it. I actually could see when a difference happened in there. So that's probably when I could have taken it off. I'm not sure. But for future reference for myself anyway... Why is that wet? I um decided to take the temperature when I finished. So I figured, okay, 150 degrees might be good. Now, this ruler kind of sucks because the one inch starts like an eighth of an inch above the thing. And the one centimeter starts even higher. So, I figure uh, it's about three eighths of an inch. So, one, two, it's about to there. So if I need to at least have it up to a little above where my half inch is. Hmm. And also the bottom of this. So I'm going to probably go up to the half inch mark on each of these just because the, there's like an eighth of an inch or so. If I can't really measure this, you'll see. It's, so let's see. That's about, that's about a centimeter right there. I can't even see inside this one. Hope that's right. I'm going to put a tiny bit more in here just for... They say to pour it slowly. I was like, how much more slowly can I go than a... Uh... Alright, let's move you closer. And then, oh, also, trying to figure out my volume, the other issue for that would be if your sides go out a little bit, then you don't have straight sides, that's going to affect it. 
So, I definitely suggest the pour the water into your containers, even if it means you have to dry, and also make sure you dry them before you put this in. Otherwise, you will end up with divots, I'm sure. I'm 99.5% sure that that's what would happen. Whew. You know, just, just a little bit of calf hooves, smelling all nice in my kitchen. Just love the smell of calf hooves in the morning. I do have some bubbles, which I'm really not that worried about because they're on top. All right, so the bottom of the, I think, that's actually almost three quarters of an inch. So I guess we have plenty there. Hold on. I hope this doesn't, oh, is there stuff on this? I don't want. Nope. See, the inside's way different than the outside. You can't go by the outside. I was like, I should not have this much left. Oh man, I had a square container, but of course there's not a clean one in there. Oh, let me check my... That is just under three. That's about three eighths of an inch. I'm going to add a little bit more. Also get this off of my ruler. And then if I can find my square, I'll, except you really don't want to wait that long, but let me see, is, I thought we had one that wasn't lost in my craft space. No, of course not. There's, no. No, 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 no. Oh, it'll have a thing on the bottom of it though. Where's my small one? Where's my small square? Did I get rid of my small square? I don't know. I don't want this sitting in my pan forever. I don't want it in my pan forever. Yeah, do a little tiny square. It'll have a little lump in it, but you know, could be fun. So I don't know where my other, hold on. I might find it. My cat's gone crazy. Found my square. I mean, it's not perfectly square. And it's one I had outside for a while with my watercolors. But I washed it the best I could. Alright, so. That should be good. I'm going to pour the rest in there. And then I'll fuss with bubbles in a minute. But I kind of don't want to leave gelatin sitting in my, in my pan that I want to use for food again someday. Although all I would have to do is put it on the stove and some hot water and it should be good okay that's not gonna be a flat surface is it whoa oh that's why you make use glycerin for soap you should see all the suds that came up in my pan when i sprayed it i was like that's not oh now it's gone down yeah because i i didn't put any soap in there that's just from the glycerin Probably. All right. Make sure that it's hot and more hot water goes after it and hot and hot and hot. Kind of like if you ever accidentally, don't ever do it on purpose, she says. Don't say it, not as I do. If you ever accidentally get grease down the sink, just put some really hot water down there to melt it. Like, so it goes all the way down and melting and stuff. Oh my goodness. Now there's a nice little, oh, we got that off. That little stuff on my, all right, I'm going to let that sit there for I don't know how long. So that means that I will have to stop this video and I'll merge them together. But I will, I need to leave that bag there to keep people and other creatures. Oh, tell me you didn't just, all right, get, I'm just going to pop some of the bubbles any obviously big the foam ooh, it's already oh i waited too long it's already starting to set up it's kind of cool creepy and cool all at once you do not have to refrigerate it uh some things said a few hours some people didn't go back to it for like eight hours some people wait till the next day i don't know 
But we're gonna stick all those back there, and there's our little tin, our little soldiers to protect it from the C A T. Oh my goodness! I mean, she wants my attention now too. Also, I need to make a video I can put out today because this one might not go out till tomorrow if the thing's not done, or if I have to remelt it. A lot of people when they make it have had to remelt it and reset it. I don't want to do that. Too impatient. I get my last stain in today, and these are fun to do with stains. Also, I bought a bunch of paints yesterday. I also got, okay, quinacridone, Q-U-I-N-A-C-R-I-D-O-N-E. I don't know, all the daily print artists talk about this quinacridone red, or, you know, well, or azo gold. I got quinacridone nickel, which was really expensive. Because it's just a little bottle and it was like $10. Plus 20% off. I need to see if um, Hobby Lobby has has it before they stop using their coupon. Having their coupon. So I can get more for less. Or find a place online. Because the one lady has like this big bottle of it. And I'm like, how much did you spend for that? Because it's an artist grade paint. And I couldn't find it in a lower grade. So if you hear someone say Azo Gold. That's I think the same thing as the quinac Quinacridone nickel so that's what i got yesterday to try in my jelly printing because they get all these cool effects using it so you know you know i had to go waste my money on that so and i bought more stains distress stains tim holtz because um, um i love those i would i would give up all my oxides and just get stains like that's how much i love them <laughs> the distress oxides are still good it's okay all right um well i'll see you in a second i guess It's only been about four hours. Oops, three and a half to four hours. So almost four hours. Close to four hours. You know I had to take the littlest one. And, uh, ooh, they don't come out that easy. I already pulled this one out. So I've got this weird foam stuff. But I don't really care as long as it dries enough so it doesn't stick to everything. Actually, it is pretty dry. Huh. Because this is the side I use. And then I always know which the top is. If it's got that weird foam stuff, I don't care. As long as it's smooth here. Which, whoo-hoo, look at that beautifulness. All right, so that one came out fairly easily. Let's try our next. So I just did, like everybody else, just kind of pull it away. husband's calling now all right so there's that one and I don't want to have to merge three videos Nathan can you text daddy and tell him even though I said that I was done videoing that I decided to do another one real quick so then we have this one now except for the weird foamy bits which I think one of the things that said you might want is um a uh do you want to hold that for me for a minute thank you this is going to be easier with two hands. Thank you. My son is helping me out now. I just want to get under there. There we go. And it just peels right off. And now I have this. It looks pretty smooth. I don't see any divots or anything. I think uh, we've got another successful one here. And that is set. I mean, it looks weird and it feels weird, but it's pretty much set. I have to figure out how to store these. I know, I probably should wait longer, but I already tested the corner of this, and um, I didn't even have to pull away the edges on this one. Remember how I was hoping for magic? Talked about that in my last video. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. Even though it's not super thick, it's still pretty heavy. It's that weird stuff on the bottom. I'll try it. It's not so, magic. It's just that hot, hot things expand and cool things contract. Well, and it plasticized it by heating it up. So you can see the bubbles on the bottom, but I didn't worry about even popping the bubbles on the bottom because you don't use the bottom, I mean the top, which then becomes the bottom. This is the part here that you're going to use. So next video, hopefully I will be playing with it. So awesome. Now I can go ahead and merge my videos and load them up. And what's great about this big one is I can... I know that's weird that's not supposed to happen i messed up somewhere but i don't care now i know which the bottoms are 
So, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not used to be having to hold this. So, y'all have a delightful day. And hopefully in the next video, I will be playing with these and having so much fun. Oh, my goodness. All right. Love you guys. Have a delightful day. Jelly plates. And weird snowmen that talk to each other, apparently.